ever find yourself questioning the cycle of earning, spending and wanting more, you're not alone. In today's world, consumerism has become an almost inescapable part of our lives. It's in the adverts that flood our screens, in the trends that dictate our wardrobes, and in the constant upgrade culture that pervades our technological habits. But at what cost? It's not just about the dent in our wallets. It's about the impact this cycle has on our overall happiness. We're constantly chasing the next big thing, the next must-have item. Yet, does it truly make us happier or does it simply leave us wanting more? We're encouraged to equate success with material wealth, to see spending as a measure of our worth. But this equation is fundamentally flawed. It overlooks the true value of financial stability and personal contentment. But what if there's a different path to wealth and contentment? Enter frugality, a lifestyle choice that values financial health over material possessions. This philosophy is all about prioritizing your spending towards what truly matters to you, rather than mindlessly consuming. It's not about being cheap or stingy, but rather being thoughtful and intentional with your resources. Indeed, frugality is an art, a way of life that promotes mindful consumption, thoughtful decision-making and a focus on quality over quantity. It's about appreciating and enjoying what you have instead of always wanting more. The benefits of this lifestyle are manifold. For one, it alleviates financial stress. No more sleepless nights, worrying about bills. It also provides more freedom. When you're not tied down by unnecessary expenses, you have more flexibility to do what you love. And above all, it can increase your happiness. After all, as the saying goes, the best things in life aren't things. Frugality isn't about sacrifice, but about making smarter choices. It's about living a life that's rich in experiences, not in possessions. So how does one transition to a frugal lifestyle? Firstly, it's all about creating and sticking to a budget. Know your income, know your expenses and plan accordingly. Designate funds for needs first, wants second, and always allocate a portion for savings. It's not about deprivation. It's about being mindful and intentional with your spending. Secondly, reduce waste. This applies to both physical waste and wasteful habits. Do you really need a takeaway coffee every morning? Or could you brew your own at home? What about water and electricity? Small changes like switching off lights when you leave a room or fixing that dripping tap can make a significant difference over time. Next, consider buying secondhand. It's not only a great way to save money, but it's also kinder to the environment. From clothes to furniture to electronics, there's a secondhand market for almost everything these days. And remember, one person's trash is another's treasure. Cooking at home is another excellent way to live frugally. Not only does it save you money, but it also gives you control over what goes into your meals. You don't have to become a master chef overnight. Start with simple recipes and gradually expand your culinary skills. Lastly, invest in quality over quantity. It's better to have one good quality item that lasts, rather than multiple poor quality items that need replacing frequently. This is particularly true for things like appliances, footwear and tools. It might cost more up front, but it will save you money in the long run. Don't feel overwhelmed by all these tips. Start small, maybe pick one or two to begin with and gradually incorporate more frugal habits into your life as you become comfortable with each new change. It's important to remember that frugality isn't about living a life of deprivation. It's about living a life of intention. It's about making choices that align with your values and goals rather than simply following the consumerist script that's been handed to us. Remember, frugality is a journey not a destination. Ready to start your journey towards frugality and financial freedom? Let's take that first step together. Frugality isn't about deprivation, far from it. It's a mindful approach to spending, one that aligns with your values and goals. It's about choosing quality over quantity, experience over possession, and sustainability over wastefulness. Picture yourself in a world where your financial decisions aren't dictated by the latest trends or flashy advertisements. A world where you have the freedom to choose what truly matters to you. That's the world of frugality. Remember, it's not a race or a competition. Everyone's journey is unique. So set your own pace and celebrate each milestone, no matter how small. Embrace frugality, not as a sacrifice, but as a step towards a more purposeful and fulfilling life. After all, the richest person isn't the one who has the most, but the one who needs the least. Start today and discover the freedom that comes from living frugally in a consumerist society.